Good morning, folks. We've got a sunspot in decay, another incoming with activity. We've got two slaps to deliver in the climate science realm and a dose of catastrophism to close, and we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the mostly quiet rotation, small flares and releases on the incoming limb, and a filament rips off near the departing limb as well. We are down to two sunspot groups on the Earth-facing half, one still incoming on the north we can't see yet. But starting top center, that sunspot looked like it was going to have a bit of potential around it, but instead of getting that development, it broke out a light bridge. The light colored line cutting through the umbra usually signifies decay. But we'll continue to monitor this larger group on the south, along with watching for the appearance of the next northern active region as well. The solar wind is calming, and you see those reverberations geomagnetically I mentioned yesterday, they are continuing into this morning. No major quakes the last day, but now we've got as much activity on the west coast of the Americas as we do in the West Pacific, including a swarm in northern Mexico. Up first in the articles is an omission and a step too far. This group has adequately confirmed the observational increase in the height of the tropopause. That's the layer boundary between the troposphere where we live and the stratospheric layer above. It is increasing its height, and it is due to the warmer lower layer of the troposphere. But folks, not only did they not factor in the modern geomagnetic excursion, not only did they not attempt to include the new solar particle forcing, they did not include the sun at all. That's three strikes there, followed by their misstatement at the end. The tropopause height is increasing, but their attribution statement not really supported by the study or the manuscript. Up next, you may have seen this on the Weather Channel. The climate change timeline is breaking down after a coring in the Alps region showed the impact of carbon on the chemistry over a hundred years earlier than they thought. Now, they don't go a step further for you, but what that means is that the overall effect they think carbon has is lessened. Even if we play devil's advocate and live in their anthropogenic fantasy, they still have to now spread that same amount of warming over far greater amounts of plant food, I mean carbon dioxide, which means every molecule is actually less effective than they thought, and it also extends their scary timelines. If this thing they claim has taken over a hundred extra years to come about, how much longer will it take to hit their scary marks? You know, these climate folks would have control over the entire world right now if they didn't keep discharging their firearms at their feet. Last but not least, folks, there might be a couple folks out there railing harder on carbon dating than I am. I just have no idea who they are. But still, I'll sit here and admit to you 100%, it's getting better. Now, yes, there are still the anomalous instances where it's psychotically off, but in general, there's truly a greater record being developed and it can indeed fortify our awareness of major solar storms and past geomagnetic secular variation. By the way, in one of their charts you can see how variable the records still are, but coming closer to agreement, excursions like Le Champ, Gothenburg, and a couple in between are easily noticeable in the isotope spikes, and a big shout out most of all for suggesting the real age of Le Champ effects began 46,000 years ago, rather than 41. It is a point we have painstakingly been trying to make quite often, that Le Champ is being dated a bit too recently as of late. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got updates on climate and catastrophe in today's podcast for members at suspiciousobservers.org, and I'll see more than 100 of you at tonight's mini-event at the Colorado Springs Mining Museum. Sorry, folks, it is sold out. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.